I'm back with a simple mom tip for that one mom that might not know. Hello, my name is Dr. Alyssa Hickey. I'm a pregnancy and pediatric chiropractor in Rochester, New York, and I have a tip for pumping. So recently a lot of moms have been coming in and they're noticing that their output with their pump isn't that great, so we like to go through and measure them for flanges. So most pumps standard come with 24 milliliter flange size. You can actually buy little inserts to put in the flanges to be the correct size for you. So you can print one of these out online or you can go to Lactation Hub and buy a whole little kit that has pumping spray, flange sizes in it, and the measuring tool as well. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place the measure over your nipple to get the correct sizing. So most flange sizes are this 24. And you can see how that is gonna be pulling in a lot of tissue around the nipple itself. So you wanna go through and find a size that's going to fit a little bit better. So the 17 is looking pretty good right there. There's not a lot of excess tissue around the outside. And then what you're gonna do is you, if you're measuring at a 17, you're gonna size up two sizes. So this mom would probably be a 20 or a 21. Next thing that you wanna take into consideration when picking out a flange size is how elastic your nipple is. So if you're pumping and a lot of that nipple is pulling in, you have more elastic -y nipples. So you're gonna to want to only size up like one, mil, one millimeter instead of the two. And then if you notice that it's just like not as elastic to it, then you can do the two millimeter. Another good tip is lubricating the flange before you start pumping so that you're more relaxed while you're pumping. If you start to get tense because it's uncomfortable, you're not gonna get as much output. So by lubricating with like a coconut oil or some breast milk prior to the pumping session, that's gonna allow the nipple to glide more easily. You're gonna be more comfortable so you can relax. Another great tip if you're back to work and you need to get that oxytocin producing, look at old photos and videos of your baby while you're pumping and that's gonna get you a good letdown. Give these a try and see if they help and I also suggest finding an IBCLC certified lactation consultant near you. They can go through, assess baby's latch, give you a little bit more information and then make sure that your milk supply is good.